today on Be Something Wonderful. I'm debt free and in love. Here's the process. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. Here we are in Lima, Peru. Got a big video for you this morning. This comes from a client session yesterday. This has been an ongoing client that I've talked to, I've probably talked to uh, twice a month on average for about eight months or so. And when we had first met, she had been, uh, she's very, very much a conscious creator, very much knows the teachings of Neville Goddard and all the spiritual greats, right? Really into this. But when we had met uh, eight months ago now, right? When we had first met, she had uh, gone through a divorce and she was in debt. I think it was around 50, she said around $15,000. So, and she was really uh, imagining, she was affirming, she was using subliminals. She was not new to any of the processes, but she goes, I, I really don't know, you know, Tom, it doesn't seem to be, I really feel like I'm struggling a little bit with this and I just need to, to kind of get reset. Well, here, here was what was going on. There was nothing wrong with her processes. There was, nothing, there was nothing wrong with what she was doing. All of those things were good. But what was really going on? It was the struggle. It was the effort. It was not being that person that is debt free and in love. She wasn't already being it. She, so, so this is what we really talked about is about surrendering to that, to that wish, surrendering to that person that you want to be right? Give up that efforting and just move to it, right? Move, act on the assumption. And she was also worrying about what to do or say or not do or say. Remember, doesn't matter. It, it really doesn't matter what you do or say, right? It, it, when, you, when, it, when, when Neville Goddard talks about acting on the assumption, you're acting within, right? And so she, so, so she was really worried about the script. And, and, and remember, the key is just follow the script, make the payments, right? Go out with friends, right? Meet new people, right? Go, go do whatever the script calls for while lighting up your future. And this is what she did. And, and keep and, and hear this. So we met a few times a month and it was not always about this, right? It was about other things. But, but then it, it just happened. Her, her, uh, so she was a, a favorite niece of, of one of her uncles when she was a little girl, but they had a follow. They didn't, the family even never talked to him. And, uh, and so, so she goes to the funeral, all of that, right? And, and sees family and then learns a few weeks later, maybe several weeks later, that, that she was left $16,000. <laughs> remember, she was the favorite niece, but they hadn't talked. 16,000, a thousand more than, than her credit card debt that she had been uh, trying to pay off. This is big. So, so, um, and then uh, she met somebody and they're still early in the, in, in the relationship. She goes, but Tom, I really feel like I'm in love. And this, so that's how she started the conversation with me in the session yesterday. Tom, I'm in love, I'm debt free and I'm in love. So I really want to talk to about this because it wasn't quote overnight, although it can be, Right? Remember, it is overnight in terms of it unfolding immediately in 3D reality. So that inner reality is created immediately when you move to the assumption. So it was created. The metaphysical manifestation was there, right? But it, it, it was her persisting in that new state, right? Her persisting in it, but letting go of all struggle, right? Letting go of all trying and just sitting and setting in that assumption that, I, that I'm debt free and I'm in love. So let's talk about this. And, and some of the things that we had talked about over the months and, and things that she already knows as well is this is what Neville Goddard says, life is not a struggle, but a surrender. Our prayers are answered by the powers we invoke, not by those we exert. She was exerting a lot of effort a lot of power, right? She felt that she was just imagining and assuming and, and doing the process, but there was effort there, right? There was struggle. She wasn't already being it. The, the trying and, and this idea that, she, that she's manifesting, right? Remember, you're not really manifesting anything. You're just being that person now who, who 
who already is that person that you want to be or be that person that's already living that reality, that already has everything you want, right? Act on the assumption that you're already that person you desire, imagine to be, and already have that which you want. This is, Neville got it talks about acting on the assumption. It's not, it doesn't have anything to do with physical movement or phone calls or, what, or all of that. It, 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 although it could, it could have to do with that. But that's not really what we're talking about. We're talking about acting on that assumption within, right? Staying it, stay, moving to that assumption that it's done in yours and staying there, right? Persisting in that without the effort. Letting go, staying in your intention of what you want and letting go all counter intentions. Do you see it? So look, at the, look at the 3D world as it, it, that it's unfolding for you, right? That, that inner manifestation, that inner reality that's already real, that's already yours, is unfolding in 3D reality no matter what. And release every counter intention to that, right? The thought that it's not unfolding, that the events don't look like they're changing. Release, she, that's what she did. Without effort, she just kept releasing those. So it's not really about manifesting anything, but rather allowing the 3D physical manifested world to yield to your beingness. Right? That is who and what you're conscious of being. She, was, she just became conscious no matter what the 3D condition showed her. Even as she was paying the, the, the payments on her credit card. Even as she was going out and still feeling like that, that, that she has lost love and that she's not going to meet somebody new. Even as she had those counter intentions, those counter thoughts, right? those, those counter uh, assumptions or beliefs from time to time. She just kept dropping them without effort and surrendering to, to her beingness, right? Uh, remember, everything is about unity, not separation. There's only all that is. And really what we hit, she said this really, she said this one point really hit her, really got her, that, that because you're one with all that is, you're one with that, that power, the only power, you're one with that one reality, that, that means that, that you are all power. And because it's one, because there's only unity, because there's, only, there's really only one substance, one mind, right? One power. That power must be everywhere. That means what? Wherever you are, all that power is. Not just some of the power. So if you can manifest one thing, you can manifest anything. If you can be conscious of being one thing, you can be, be conscious of being anything. It's not about big or small or hard or easy. It's about being aware that, you, that that unity is within you, right? All knowing, all power, all possibilities are centered within you right here and now. That power which you are is omnipresent. Wherever you are, all of God must be. That's what really got us. So she was able to, over those eight months, to really return to that center, knowing that whatever conditions she's seeing, those are the right conditions. Because she is 3D reality. It's all unfolding within her. That in those conditions is all of God, no matter what those conditions are. No matter when, whether that credit card debt is there or she hasn't met somebody. Those, that all those conditions must be unfolding because wherever she is, God is. Wherever she is, all power is. Wherever she is, all knowingness is. Wherever she is, her wish is already fulfilled, right? So that's big. And it doesn't matter what you do or say. This is what we really hit. It doesn't matter what the prevailing 3D conditions look like. None of that matters. This is really what you get. You know, people ask you, oh, are you still, you know, how's that credit card debt? It didn't matter. She just answered, right? Or didn't answer. But it didn't matter what she did. Or what the prevailing conditions are. As, as, as it, it seemed to kept be building, as it seemed that she wasn't going to meet somebody. All of that. Imagine it's done. Assume it's yours. Be the version of yourself that's debt-free. And love, this, is, this was for her, while, while following the script, Right? Don't resist the script. The script's the script. Right? You, don't need to, you don't need to resist anything. Know that within your intention is all power. Not just some power. Not just a little bit of God. Not just some of God, but all of God. All power. All reality. Right? This is really what you get. And let go of effort and all counter intentions. Right? All those beliefs that say it's not here yet. That the debt's piling up. That you'll never find love again. 
right? That you're divorced. There's a reason for that, right? That you're not worthy of love. She let all that go, right? And she kept her new future illuminated no matter what. The world must yield to you, right? Must yield to your, your carefree, focused intention. Carefree, without effort. This is what she got to. She knew. She got it. But it didn't mean that she wasn't without doubt. It didn't mean that she wasn't without fear or those contrary thoughts or those counter beliefs and assumptions. They were there. She just let them go and moved to that carefree, focused intention that it's already hers. Wow, that's powerful. So remember, here was the, the script and that she felt wasn't changing, right? Here she was imagining, assuming with effort. Right? She felt like she was ha you know, imagining happy. She was imagining she was happy, but, she felt, but there was effort going on. There was stress issues. She was worried about the script. But as she let that go, as she was still in that same script here, same script, she imagined that, that future right? without the effort, without the worry. In other words, the worry might have been there, even her, her, her tendency to apply effort, but she kept releasing that. Release the counter intentions, release the, the propensity to, to effort it, right? And just stay, stay, or the tendency <laughs> to effort, right? And stay in that assumption. And as she did, look, she started moving debt free, in love. And now she's, now what we were talking about is, is a house and a family and getting married, <laughs> right? It's headed there anyway. But, but how fun is it to, to see it? right? There's no issues there. That's for sure for her. But we talked about all that. Know that the 3D world is already rearranging itself and yielding to your assumption, to your intention, a new state of being. I'm there. It's done. It's perfect. So whatever process that you land on, stay with it. Trust it, right? More than that, trust yourself because you are the process. It's not the process. It's you. Right? It's not the technique. It's you. It's all you. It's done. It's perfect. I'm debt free and in love. Here's the process. What was the process? It was her inner conviction. Her continuing to light up that future while letting go of the effort, while letting go of the struggle, surrendering to life. Right? Life is a surrender. She finally got it that it's already there. And then she kept lighting that up while she released those counter assumptions, while she released those counter beliefs, while she released that doubt that was there. Just released it, didn't resist it, didn't fight the script, just kept letting go and moving back to her assumption with persistency, with frequency, but carefree and without effort. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me here in Lima, Peru. Uh, thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on the videos. We have a Facebook group, the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful, where you can share insight and guidance and ask for insight and guidance from others. Also, we have an Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, or just go to our website anytime at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com. With great love, with great light and infinite gratitude, creators, We'll see you soon.